Hey guys, I'm Tarek Mariface and welcome to the second episode of the CRP5 tutorial. Today we'll be looking at the supplemental equipment you should have to make the use of this stupid flight computer a little bit easier. The CRP5 has got these screws around the edges. You can tighten them up to secure the slide rule, or you can loosen them up to make the slide rule easier to move. And it's really a thing of personal preference, but make sure that you maintain it regularly because the more you use it, the looser they'll get. You can use a screwdriver or like I do, my pocket knife. All you have to do, like any other screw, you place a pocket knife there and you turn it nice and easy. Lefty loosey, righty tighty, love that saying. Alternatively, you can use the edge of a coin, but it's a little harder to do that, especially if you've tightened it beforehand with a pocket knife or a screwdriver, so it'll take a little bit of effort. When people start using the CRP5, they'll usually use a pencil on the wind side. Now that's actually not a very good idea, because first of all, to get a visible mark, you're gonna have to scratch the surface a few times, which will leave a thick mark, so it's not very accurate. On top of that, once you're done, you have to rub it out with a rubber with an eraser and what happens is they'll leave pieces of rubber everywhere and smudge marks which is just not great. Instead I recommend using what I do which is a thin non-permanent marker. The permanent marker is great because first of all it's very thin so you can get quite accurate results. On top of that, you can get rid of it with one swipe by just licking the tip of your finger. Now, of course, even using permanent markers, the window will get a little smudgy, so it's important to clean it. You can use a paper towel or any type of cloth, although I personally use a microfiber cloth. Just dampen one edge of the cloth and then wipe down the CRP5. Once you're done, go ahead and use a dry part of the cloth to dry it out. Well that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Next time we'll be using the CRP5 with basic calculations and finally get our hands dirty. I'm Tarek Merriface, I'll see you guys next time and happy flying. Hi guys, welcome to the end card. Congrats if you've made it this far. Click on the subscribe button to my right if you want to subscribe. Below are a few of my latest videos. Also don't forget that I have a website and would greatly appreciate it if you went ahead and had a look. It's not just my content, I go ahead and put there anything that might be of interest to someone who likes aviation. Well, thanks again for watching, I'll see you guys next time, and happy flying.